Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what their silence really means. So what is their silence telling you, you know, why are, you, why are they giving you the silent treatment and what you can expect, or if you can expect communication from them at all in the future. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and give the cards a shuffle. Let's begin. Okay, and bottom of the deck you have the tower. Okay, so it appears as though this connection, or this relationship is under the influence of the tower card. So you may be going through a storm, okay? You may be going through an inner storm, an inner turmoil. As per individual energies, your connection here could be going through a storm. Maybe you're in the midst of a storm, and for some of you, maybe you're coming out of the storm. I like that the Ten of Cups has showed up for you, because this is you getting your rainbow at the end of this stormy, weathery conditions here. So it's a good thing. Um, I also feel like there is a lot that's being exposed under the influence of a tower moment. And essentially what it's doing is, it's bringing a lot of shadow aspects about each person's individual energy involved in this relationship as well as some dark or shadowy aspects about the relationship itself so there are certain issues there are certain insecurities fears or anxieties um, jealousies certain negative energies or influences that do reside within the connection and it feels like neither of you are willing to deal with that or confront that and in fact, so much so that the both of you have been willfully ignoring it or sort of suppressing it and pushing it deep down inside. Um, and it's sort of been mounting up on you, okay, to the point where you're now experiencing this volcanic, uh, volcanic eruption, this tower moment. Their silence, what does it mean? I feel like this tower moment is the very thing that's driven them to give you the silent treatment. I can also see that there is tension and conflict between you and your romantic energy but there's also like a lot of tension that they feel or a lot of conflict that they personally feel and especially with the five of swords it's just I, do, I feel like your person is not really they're feeling a little bit irritable a little bit frustrated with um, perhaps with themselves or with you or with something that's happened here I also feel like this person is just a little bit uncertain as to how they should be approaching this or if whether or not they want to communicate with you their silence is strategic they know what they're doing they know that if they stay silent and if they stay unresponsive it's going to upset you it's going to emotionally upset you it's going to you know have you feeling very frustrated with them they know what they're doing it's strategic they know that you know it's going to you know have you feeling very unnerved and very unsettled here let me tell you if you guys are not communicating like for example if they're keeping quiet and if you're keeping quiet that's kind of adding to the tension because it worries them your silence bothers them in fact the fact that they're not talking is bothering them like they're not communicating and they're silent that's also bothering them but I feel like they're trying to I feel like they're a little bit juvenile because essentially 
they're trying to send you a message and the message is that they're upset that they're hurting it's essentially um, their cry for attention is what it is they want you to notice that something is wrong hence why they're not responding hence why they're not communicating here they it, it, they want attention is what it seems like maybe they feel as though they've been a little bit neglected lately maybe they feel as though you know they haven't had um, a lot of your attention so I feel like this is this is what um, your person is doing, even th if they're aware of it or not. I do feel like you guys will... I do feel like you guys will be able to get to a point where you're going to be communicating. Okay, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, the Fix Set repair at tarot card so i do feel like you're going to come back and try to you know reconcile your differences or work through things however i feel like with re with regards to, i feel like someone has a decision here because i feel like there is some manipulation there is some tactics there is some deceit perhaps disloyalty or dishonesty involved and i feel like in a world of communication right especially at our time and age silence often sends a very powerful message and it speaks volumes without even saying much at all, right? So the fact that they're not communicating is essentially their way of communicating with you, okay? It speaks volumes um, and I can definitely see that this person here is... I feel like it's their way of trying to be heard. Maybe they feel like they're being misunderstood or maybe there's some sort of situation which has maybe exposed their manipulative behavior their narcissistic side or has exposed the fact that this person has been deceitful and dishonest with you and maybe they feel like they're not in the wrong okay maybe this person feels as though I feel like what they need right now is they need that space and then they need that space and they need their time to really process it because I feel like your person is a bit bitter, they're brooding, so if they've done something wrong, I don't see them taking personal responsibility for it um, and they're kind of, in fact, they're mad at you for not talking to them or they're mad at you for being mad at them. I know and it sounds very childish and infantile, but this is what your person is feeling. A decision needs to be made because you can't go i i can i see that they, there are behavioral patterns here like this has happened once before maybe with not the, with not this particular romantic energy but perhaps with previous partners like it, it needs to i feel like you guys will recover from this okay and i feel like there's great value in silence here especially because it's giving you time to think as well it's giving you time to think about you know, is this what you want? Is this the type? Is this who you really want? Is is this the type of, re of relationship you want? Um, you know, are you valuing your self worth? Are you going to wait f for this person to speak? Are you going to wait for this person to come around and make up their mind and choose you? I feel like this space and this, especially this mental space that you have to think about. Um, you really need to put things into perspective for you. If this is what you want, and if you guys do come back together, and I feel like there's a chance for you to recover um, something that's been lost here and to work on things, but is this what you want to happen going forward? You know, whenever you experience a bump or an obstacle or hurdle, neither of you are able to talk about it. So, um, you know, in a conversation, sometimes it's not only what's being said, but a lot of the times, more importantly, it's what isn't being said. And it feels like the fact that silence here is making such a contribution here to your, you know, what's going on, your situation here. I feel like you need to give yourself some space and some, you know, you need to think about what it is that you want. And you need to make a decision. Whether that decision is, do you take them back? Do you communicate? Do you respond? Do you reach out? Do you reply? Do you wait? Do you not? Do you move on? You need to make a decision because each, you know, whatever it is that you decide on is going to have consequences that follow from there. And I feel like, I feel like this, the fact that they're not talking and you're not talking is actually speaking volumes and it's saying a lot. If only you read between the lines here. 
and the reason why something you know you've got the magician in reverse here the reason why things aren't necessarily manifesting in the way that you want because there are certain blockages in the connection that you guys have previously failed to ignore and it's mounted so high up on you that you know voila it's it's this volcanic explosion everything has just sort of come out to the surface and not just one issue but several issues have come flooding out and now is the time that you guys address it or you sort of leave it alone and move on all right guys and these are your messages thank you as always for watching and listening please share your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel um, for those of you interested in a personal reading feel free to reach out otherwise bye for now